So who is Odlum? Who is Odlum? Odlum is. Who's Odlum? Do you want name, rank, yeah, and serial number? Except yeah. that you never did any service for your country, so you don't have that. William Wallace Odlum. What was his life like in Ireland? Um, well, to hear him tell it, it sounds a lot like um, uh, like a Charles Dickens story. Based on his description, <laughs> was brutal. Um, and it probably was pretty shitty. It was wonderful. Yes. In respect to others, it was wonderful, but it was still shit. I was born and raised in an environment that was basically farming. It was a dairy farm, which is the worst possible existence for anyone because it was year-round operation. You started at 7 o'clock in the morning and you finished about 7, 7.30 at night. And you had a hundred cows which had to be milked every day, twice a day. And the milk then had to be delivered in town. Like he worked hard when he first got here because he was, he had like, a, I think like a grade seven education and his, uh, his father, who to this day he refers to as that rotten old bastard Tom, wasn't a big believer in education or reading or certainly anything like that. Didn't, you know, let him listen to the radio. Um, reading was a luxury and his father didn't support reading. And he said, you don't need to read and write to uh, milk a cow. And that's what I did from 14 years of age to 23. Then, I, my father and mother, of course, didn't want to see me go because as the eldest son, I was supposed to inherit this magnificent business. And I said, I am not going to put up with another moment of slavery. <laughs> <laughs> and I came to Canada with 87 dollars in my pocket. What's he done for a living in Canada? <laughs> as little as possible. <laughs> He's one of those like classic sort of, you know, very kind of that classic Irish guy who kind of finds a way to, to sort of fiddle his way through without really kind of working at all. What computer programs has he written? Um, he's written like, like four or five. Now, I also wrote another program called Value Trend Indicator was another one, which has something to do with the stock market, very complex kind of stuff. Oh, I remember that bullshit program. And the Value Trend Indicator had a lot of graphs and charts and so on, and it was written up as one of the best programs of its kind in the Wall Street Journal. Really? Pretty amazing that a guy with a grade seven education who grew up milking cows in Ireland was able to write a, a quite a sophisticated uh, computer program and, he's taught, and he was completely self-taught. He never took a course in computers. He, he, he just basically taught himself. Wow. You have a copy of that? I kept two copies for years and then I threw them out. How the hell am I keeping it for? <laughs> Did faith have any impact on your decision to emigrate from Ireland to Canada? Uh, not really, in a sense. The only problem was that, uh, that uh, the Protestants and Catholics, there was no intermarriage. And in my hometown, there was only a few dozen Protestants and the ones of marriageable age who wouldn't even want to know them. Now the trouble with the Catholic girls was they were all brides of Christ and daughters of Mary. So you couldn't touch them without a marriage license. So you were in deep, deep trouble. So it was much easier to come to Canada where sex was looked on 
in a slightly different manner. What do you do to search for the good in people and society? <laughs> I figure everyone is as honest and upright as I am. And um, how honest is that? <laughs> very, uh, very, very honest actually, but all I have to do is screw me once, you'll never screw me twice. <laughs> <laughs>